This tutorial will introduce you to Warp, a graphical engineering studio for automation solutions. Warp helps you to create integrated HMI, control, drives, and data communication solutions more simply than ever before. It automatically generates and configures all hardware, software, and communication settings, and accesses all application software in your application. What used to take days to set up can now be up and running in a few minutes. It's all about making the complex simple. Warp is open and flexible software with a focus on usability. It has an impressive feature set that amongst others includes seamless integration of Bayer Electronics products, structured and integrated workflow with drag and drop, smart objects with embedded functionality such as PLC code and HMI screens that speed up your development, easy distribution, backup and recovery of projects. Warp includes restore points that save your project in a secure state. Warp also gives you direct access to online documentation. We will now help you to get started with Warp by demonstrating how to build a simple project. We start by clicking on Blank Project. This will create a new Warp project. The product catalog contains a list of all products that can be included in the project. Click on a folder to expand it. All products are placed in a folder according to which type of product it is. For example, Ethernet switches. Warp also includes drawing primitives, such as text, post-it, and picture objects. These can be added to the workspace to clarify the topology. Select an object and add it by dragging and dropping it to the workspace. Properties, such as the font size, can be adjusted from the ribbon. By selecting and expanding folders, it's possible to find a specific product. Technical details are revealed when selecting a product. You can filter the products by typing a search text. All products containing the text will be presented. A more specific search will produce less hits and make it easier to find the desired product. Select the product and drag and drop it to the workspace. For devices with Ethernet ports, it's possible to assign a new IP address. In this case, 192.168.1.100. In the property grid, you can define new property values for the selected product. In this sample, the operator panel is renamed to main panel. The serial port is configured to use RS232 or RS422. And the LAN A Ethernet port is assigned to communicate via Ethercat. Finally, the remote access server is enabled. It's always recommended to add passwords to restrict external access to the VNC server. We will now add distributed I.O. to the workspace. Therefore, the distributed I.O. folder is expanded and an Ethercat network adapter is added to the workspace. We will now add a couple of slice I.O.s to the network adapter. First, a digital input module. Second, a digital output module. And finally, an analog input module. Some of the modules are possible to configure with initial parameters. Select the desired module and assign values in the property grid. When generating the Codices application, the module will get initial parameters based on these choices. It's possible to rearrange the order by selecting a module and drag and dropping it to the desired slot. Now it's time to connect the X2 control panel to the I.O. We try to connect LON-B to the network adapter. Since this is not a supported connection, Warp will correct it and inform us that LAN A was used instead. Warp also contains template functions that can be added to your applications. These are called smart objects and are available in the product catalog. Adding a smart object is easy. Just drag and drop the object onto the device. By selecting a device, you can see which objects have been added to it. The PLC status object contains both IX and Codasys code. To make it easier to get an overview of used hardware, you can find a bill of materials. This contains a list of all parts or part numbers that are used in the project. This can easily be exported to Excel for later usage. Warp also gives you direct access to related documentation. When selecting a device in the workspace or product catalog, the documents window will update accordingly. Simply click on the Generate button to create an IX and Codices application. Before the generation can be started, we need to give the application a name. 
Type in the desired name and click on Save. The generation will now start. The generation of the application normally takes a few minutes, but it's important to consider that it saves you a lot of time. This part of the video has been edited and runs quicker than normal. At this point, the CODISYS and IX applications have been generated. When navigating in the CODISYS project, we notice that structures, tasks, network adapters, and IOs have been added. The IO modules have been connected to variables automatically and are ready to be used in the logic. When navigating in the IX application, we see that tags have been generated and inserted into the application. The screen is prepared with objects that already are connected to tags. The serial ports are configured according to the settings made in warp. Finally, we notice that the remote access server is enabled, just as we configured it to be in warp. To sum up, this software will change the way you set up automation applications forever. Warp Engineering Studio is a digital workplace that integrates HMI, control, drives, and data communication technologies seamlessly. We call it Fast Forward Engineering. Download the software from our smart store and start to work smarter.